anytime a customer from with Mule dishwasher complains that their dishwasher keeps draining or it's leaking water or it's not working the first thing you want to do is uh, check the non-return valve inside um, there's a part uh, you can google it it's called non-return valve that usually goes bad from inside and if you don't find anything wrong with that pull the dishwasher out take this bottom panel off look at the calcium will up here so much calcium we have there's two screws one screw here one at the bottom you take the cap plate off and then there's two screws on the front you take those off uh, if possible vacuum the dishwasher before you even pull it out so the stuff you want to check here is the first thing you want to check is to make sure this sensor is sitting properly it's all the way in you can also check this from inside <clears throat> so you want to make sure that's sitting properly check your drain hose for cracks if there is any cracks uh, you replace your drain hose check everywhere on drain hose from here all the way to the back even underneath there because if you have leak there it can also flow back and come and fill this area and then this is your float switch see when the float switch goes up the drain pump uh, keeps running um so the second part you want to check is this uh, it's called sump casing this complete part gets separated from this motor assembly um you want to check this for leakage usually you will see calcium buildup right here it leaks drops of water from here because there is a seal at the center and that seal wears out over time and it leaks from here see all of this calcium you can possibly see something similar to this if you don't see any leakage from there check your pressure hoses one of the hose goes to the spray arm to the top one that this one goes on the middle put your finger at the back of it like that and feel the opening and gap here um, usually there's a leak at the back you will not see it here on the on the front you can only see it from the back so stick your finger like that and feel it and the same thing from there if you don't find any leak here no leak here no leak here no leak here the next part is this gasket you see this gasket is kind of deteriorating already see that see that it can possibly this gasket deteriorates after um, years of use and it leaks from there so check this check this tiny gasket here that covers the sump um also check your uh, pressure switch it's called pressure switch you need to open it from there and from there with a flat screwdriver and take a lot of pictures mark down these um, uh, electrical wires the way they are going uh, sometimes you will see corrosion build up here and that can also tell you that uh, if the dishwasher has the uh, water so these are all the areas i'll show you worst case uh, you will have water leakage by the drain pump you want to check here and there's also soap dispenser on the door itself um, if you see water drops or calcium build up in this area that can also tell you it's leaking from there and also there's a gasket under the door you see this you can only inspect this gasket if you take the door off it's held by a couple of screws you need you need to take the door panel off and then separate it um, take this panel off and then you will be able to see the door um, uh, the gasket under the door leaking water those are all the common areas i'll show you uh, but very very common areas that uh, i would say 90 percent of the time it leaks water is this hole from the sump casing these two hoses this uh, sump um, rubber hose this one or the drain hose that's all there's nowhere else on some of the dishwashers that they have uh, water softener or salt container it also leaks from there again sorry i forgot to tell you it can also leak from this area from here you want to check for leakage see i can see a little bit of calcium here 
and that's all once you take this pan bottom panel off you can tell exactly where the leak is coming from and worst case if you cannot find the leak your last option is to adjust all of these feet up bring the dishwasher up and possibly add a 2x4 on both sides so one 2x4 here on the floor another one here maybe like a brick you can even use four bricks different bricks uh, jack up the dishwasher couple inches possibly one or two feet and then run the dishwasher and then hold your flashlight from the bottom and check for leakage that way you will find 100 percent the leak if you don't find the leak then uh, you may want to call a technician thank you so much